Welcome to this lesson on deductive reasoning. Make sure you got your math dictionary out because here comes your word for this lesson. Deductive reasoning. It's the process of using logic to draw a conclusion from given facts, definitions, and properties. Somebody that I think of when I think of deductive reasoning is Sherlock Holmes. If you've seen any sort of Sherlock Holmes show, you'll see him using logic, facts, definition, properties to come to conclusions on solving crimes. What we're going to take our deductive reasoning skills is we're going to solve some logic puzzles, puzzles, and that's how we're going to do our deductive reasoning. So make sure you get your note sheet out, pause the video if you need to go get it from the binder. Here comes the first example called backpacks. So it says, last week, three classmates all lost their backpack. One was colored green. Let me change colors there. During the school day. One little boy lost his at lunch. From the clues provided, can you determine which boy had which color backpack and when he lost. So the premise of this is that each boy had a different colored backpack and lost their backpack during a different part of the day. So we're going to take these clues. We got three clues. Clue number one, Sam did not lose his backpack before lunch. So Sam before lunch, looks like third period happens before lunch. So Sam did not lose his backpack during third period. Sal's backpack, which was not green, there's a clue. So Sal's backpack was not green. So I'm going to eliminate that space. And Sal lost his backpack during third period. So we know, third period, Sal lost his backpack. So I'm going to put a yes there. So since Sal lost it during third period, there's no way Sean could have lost it during third period. And since Sal lost his during third period, he didn't lose it during lunch or during fifth period. So process of elimination kind of helps us out there. Clue number three, Sean lost sight of his purple backpack during lunch. So Sean had the purple backpack, which means Sal didn't have purple, Sam did not have purple, and Sean did not have a blue backpack, nor was his backpack green. He lost it, it says, during lunch. So Sam didn't lose his during lunch. And Sean could not have lost his during third period. So we just figured out the next Sam lost his during fifth period. And as I look at these clues and I see the boxes checked off, it looks like the only color Sam, Sal could have had is a blue backpack. So Sam did not have a blue backpack. Sam's was green. So when we finish filling out the boxes process of elimination following these clues, we got to write out our final answer. So Sam had the green backpack, and he lost his during fifth period. Sal had the blue one. He lost his during third. And Sean, well, Sean had the purple one. And he lost his during lunch. If you'd like to, I would highly encourage you to turn it over to the back, pause the video, and try to start reading the clues on the back. You're attempting to match up. Each person, there's three items you're matching up. Attempt that one, pause it, and if, if you're ready, I'm going to flip over to the next one and go through that example. 
Example number two. We've got ice cream cones. So each, now it's one more person. So each person had a different number of scoops and a different flavor. So we're going to read through these clues and try to eliminate, use our reasoning skills to come up with who had how many scoops and which flavor did they have. Clue number one. Valerie either had five vanilla scoops or three strawberry scoops. So that means that must mean that Valerie did not have two scoops, nor did she have four scoops. And she did not have chocolate, and she did not have candy. Now we can use this lower purple box down here because it says flat out that whoever had five scoops got the vanilla flavor. So whoever this person is that got vanilla gets five scoops of ice cream, meaning no other flavor had five scoops, and vanilla didn't have two, three, or four. So we can eliminate that. The next one it tells us is whoever had strawberry had three scoops, which means, again, we can eliminate all other options once we found out strawberry had three scoops. Next clue, Vance was not the one who had four candy flavored scoops. So Vance did not have four scoops. Vance did not have candy. This tells us whoever had four scoops had candy flavor. Which means we know whoever had chocolate had two scoops. Now we just got to figure out, well, which people? Valerie, Sue, Sam, or Vance? We don't know who yet. So let's read our next clue. Sue had one more scoop than did Sam, who did not have the fewest scoops. So Sue had one more than Sam, and Sam did not have the fewest amount of scoops. So that must mean that Sue did not have the fewest amount of scoops. Since Sue had one more scoop than Sam, that means, well, Sue could have had three scoops, because if she had three scoops, that means Sam would have had two, but Sam didn't have the fewest. So Sue either had four scoops or five scoops, and since Sam had one less than Sue, if Sue had five scoops, there's no way Sam could have had five scoops, so we can eliminate. I look in this row here, column two, it looks like Vance was the one who had chocolate, or had two scoops, and based on the previous one down here, some whoever had two scoops had chocolate. So Vance was the one that had chocolate ice cream, and he had two scoops of it. Let's see if the last clue helps us out. A boy chose the strawberry flavored cone. Well, Vance had chocolate. The three names we have left are Valerie, Sue, and Sam. I'm going to assume that Sam is a boy's name. And so Sam had three scoops of strawberry flavored ice cream. We knew from before that whoever had three scoops had strawberry. So if a boy chose strawberry, that boy must have been Sam, and he had three scoops. Oops. I almost crossed that out, should have done that. This means that Sue didn't have strawberry, and Valerie did not have strawberry. So back to our clue number three. If Sue had one more scoop than Sam, that means if Sam had three, Sue had four scoops. And we were told earlier that four scoops was candy flavor. Well, that means Sue 
have the candy flavored ice cream. Leaving us with a dilemma. Well, well, Valerie either had five vanilla or three strawberry. We just eliminated. She didn't have strawberry. So she had the five vanilla. So our final answer that we got to record is Valerie had the five vanilla and Sue had four candy flavored. Sam had three strawberry and Vance had two chocolate. This is our final answer that I'm looking for. When you finish these logic clues based on, these lo this logic puzzle based on the clues.